Okay, and we're back. This is Moot. This is our second episode of our Worm PvP series. And uh, I died, but we're going to respawn at our tent. So last episode, we found uh, we found this kind of rock out rock. Let's go ahead and equip this before we make it worse. And uh, we prospected it, right? We prospected. Right click mine prospect or click it click a uh, prospect tool well, I guess there's no pro oh there it is okay and it tells us there's iron and zinc nearby and now we're just gonna make a stinking mine tunnel for a lot of different reasons um, the number one is that we need to actually make ourselves safe uh, not from players right now but from wolves lions tigers and bears crabs Dolphins, all of those nasty little creatures. If you go to wormdesolation.com, worm-desolation.com, um, I'll go ahead and paste it here and I'll put it in the description. Uh, the admin tries to be very transparent with everything. So all of the configuration files are publicly listed. So you can go ahead and, and know you know how fast is the skill timer or how often does hoda happen or where can i find moon metal veins there's moon metal veins so you can actually find glimmer steel or adamantine veins to make your armor and weapons out of um like we talked about the different types of mods that we have on the server uh, we can go to the server configuration on the worm desolation website and we can see that there's the timer mod, so actually the timer uh, affects, um, you know, when you do 10 times skill timer uh, or 10 times action timer, it actually affects the uh, the actions that you do. There's surface mining, there's a spell mods, there's sacrifice mods, prospect mod, there's moon metal mining mod, meditation mod, harvest helper, dig like mining, crop mod creatures mod i mean there's a whole bunch of mods oh my goodness but the great thing about them is they all like they i feel like they add a lot of benefit to playing this game so going on to the tutorial we're just tunneling right that's what we're gonna do we're just going to make a tunnel get into a stinking cave and hopefully try to find some stinking iron stinking iron Let's go. I don't know how many hits I've done so far. But even, I mean, you can already tell if this was warm online, I started, this time would be 30 seconds or greater. Okay, but look, it's only four seconds at the, at the peak, and that's, that makes it really nice because you don't spend a lot of time just grinding out skills or grinding out actions. Like that's the most boring part about Worm. Well, some people may think that it's the best part about Worm, but I don't. And if we're worried about making this pretty, I would probably surface mine all of this around. But uh, right now we're about survival, man. We need to worry about making sure we're safe. We've got missions here construction of a pillar a pylon cut down maple tree all right it'll soon create an entrance all right here we go we're safe we're safe uh, i like to mine down well we can go ahead and mine mine regular look what what's our mining at already already 32 that's wonderful when did it actually stop being 1.0 so we're mining right obviously you want high mining so you can mine higher quality ore um, we need to actually get a door on this because if it's open uh, monsters can come in and kill us when I say monsters I mean crabs and no one wants to die to a crab because that's embarrassing we can prospect this too, actually. 
Um, let's go ahead and prospect. Prospect actually, for some reason, isn't affected with the timer mod, but you know, as soon as you get like 30 prospect, and it goes by pretty quickly. Oh, you have to prospect the ground. That's right. So we'll let that go. We're gonna if we prospect the ground. It will tell us exactly like we're prospecting above what ore is around. So ore and iron. But if we want to analyze, okay, if we analyze the rock, analyze, you are unable to work with analyze the chart. Oh, we don't have high enough. We don't have high enough prospecting. I think we don't have high enough prospecting. That's the problem. It's all right. We're just going to keep mining anyways. It's not that important. I like to just dig around until I find something. I like to also use Life Map. It's a, a mod that you can get. We can see that there's a cave over here. This is where we are, the red dot. So in the second 10 minutes, you know, the first 10 minutes that you spend on the server, you need to find a safe place to be. The second 10 minutes, you need to find resources. And we'll just call this. And the next 10 minutes, the third 10 minutes, we'll go ahead and look at making our tools, making our armor, making our weapons so that we're at least sustainable, maybe not against players, but at least against monsters. And then we need to forge. Uh, one of the top priorities, the two top priorities after armor and weapons is going to be meditating and priesting up. There's no reason why you shouldn't be a priest. There's no priest restrictions uh, on this server, which means you can have 100 faith, be a uh, priest of foe, priest of Vinora, and still fight, dig, um, cut, wood, pick locks, all of the things that you want to do. And after we priest and after we get our uh, meditating up to 90 or 70 for Shield of the Gone or Recall Home, you also want to, after that, I would say you concentrate on your body statistics by mining or woodcutting and then also increasing your fighting. Um, and that's going to be the most, most two c most time consuming processes is fighting to increase your fight skill and grinding your body. But like I said, it caps at 50 so you know if you grind for a day of playing so let's say an average person plays uh, three hours a day probably worm players are out of the outliers of that but um, you'll be able to uh, catch up pretty quickly so I'm a mine I'll try to find some ore and we'll get started in the next video thanks for watching